What's up, everybody? Game of Thrones. Yesm. What's up? Third person. <laughs> Chris, Mike, you know. You know the deal. Episode five. Episode five. The bells where... Bells. Bell shut tolls. up and die everybody that's basically what it's called that's yes. mike uh before i go into my rant tell me what you thought of this episode <laughs> um i know exactly what you're gonna say i'm not going to you I'll, don't I'll, know man you don't I'll know what rant, i'll leave the ranting up to you there are a lot of things that i've liked there's a lot of things that i liked about the previous episodes and a lot of people might say that we were kind of ripping it but um there was a couple scenes with with um with aria um, that, that made me a little nervous towards the end, but, um, Varys and the little birds, knowing that even though he's in Dragonstone or wherever he is in the North, he still has people that he can try to plot, uh, to kill Danny with, which I thought was kind of, kind of interesting. Um, cause we talked about that, you know, what is Varys up to? Is he going to try to kill her and all this kind of stuff? So we got our answer with that. So I thought that was cool. Um, Danny feels super betrayed, you know, she feels super betrayed. And here's the thing. The, the conversation they had was really good. Tyrion's like, oh, it was Varys. She's like, no, it was... She says, no, it was John. He goes, no, it was Varys. She goes, yeah. well, g guess what? John, I told John not to tell anyone. He told his sister, yeah. sister told you. Varys found out. It's like, so John did it. And Ty Tyrion's yeah. like, damn it. And, you know, later on, you know, she has a talk with John. And she, you know, she's like, listen... They they love you. They hate me. All I have is fear. And she she gets that one little last little, hey, let's, you know, what are you thinking? He's like, oh, you're my queen. I don't want it. You're my queen. But you're like, you know, like you said, previous episode. All right, enough. Yeah. And then she's like, he backs away from her because he's he's pretty much disgusted with her at this point. But yeah. he's so honorable that he's going to yeah. maintain his position with her as far as you're my queen, you're my queen. But he doesn't want anything to do with her anymore, no. I think. And she's like, you know what? Fine. Fear it is. Yeah. You're like, all right, that's it. She's going crazy. Now, I told y'all. I told y'all. I told y'all. But I have an amendment to that, though. I have an amendment to that. We'll get to that afterwards. Um, mm -hmm. What else, man? What else did you think? Over, like, I mean, overall, I'm more good than bad. I mean, Arya being inside and sneaking inside with the Hound, I think is cool. Them pairing up, I always thought was a cool thing. I mean, uh, I got thoughts uh, about that, man. Yeah, right, you want to uh, talk Jay about that? Yeah, since Jay I mean, Jamie's in there. Jamie's nah, in King's nah, Landing. This is what I do. You brought it up. This is what we do. We're yeah. going to talk about it as you bring it up. Okay. Here's a problem. Real quick, yes. overall. Yes. Again, the 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 parts of it are good. Mm -hmm. but the sum of those parts are not for me. So, well, the beginning had a lot more, um, in the beginning, especially with, with Arya in there and even Danny when, cause listen, when Danny flies in with Jorgon before she starts roasting everything and you see all the scorpions on like all the towers and everything like that, mm -hmm. I was very nervous. And especially since we didn't know what, what Danny would turn into after, you know, the bell rings, but just to be uh, worried about Drogon getting killed and all this kind of stuff. And then seeing, seeing Euron getting roasted with, you know, with his, the ships and the fleet and everything and the golden company getting wiped out with a, you didn't even get to see these guys fight. That was, I mean, the, the, you know, so, they bust through the castle. So that's wall the thing. I mean, there was, there was some really interesting parts, but yeah, you know, it's again, it's, I know you're like, is she going to get killed? She's not going to get killed. We know she's not going to get killed. You know, she tears up the... I think, I think you're probably more worried about Drogon getting shot again like anybody else, really. I mean, I didn't necessarily think that one of the Scorpions was going to kill That's Kane. what I meant. I meant Drogon. I didn't mean her, yeah. But, yeah. I just, you know, one it's it, it's one one or the other. It's you know, yeah. They're one and the same at this point. So yeah. I just, um, you know, that was, that was very cool. That was very cool, her taking out the Scorpions. Like, that was all very cool. You know, yes, you know, Tyrion tries to plead with her and says, listen, can you just not kill everyone there? Like, there's literally no reason. Once you take out, you know, go go there and, and show yeah, up, once they're going to the, Once you hear the bells... You know, just you know, stop, you know. But yeah, even before that, he adamant. says that the armies will stop because the people yeah. who follow her will stop following her. And they did. I mean, it was kind of... Um... 
was kind of beautiful in a way, especially when all the King's Landing guards start dropping their swords and all this kind of stuff. You kind of think like, wow. And you see a vulnerability and 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 Cersei in denial. Kyburn's like, listen, um, our scorpions are gone. Oh, well, we still have Euron's fleets. Oh, the Euron's nope, fleets are destroyed. So it was um, Golden I mean, Army. They're gone too. Yeah, it was. It was um, one of those. It was like shock and awe. Like boom, you know. But that's the thing, dude. And she had one dragon. She said, mm-hmm. she she said in in past seasons, all I need are my three dragons. And yeah. they're like, no, 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 you just need you need your army. She's like, I just need my dragons, trust me. Yeah. Had and she had she gone and done that, mm. they wouldn't have time, they wouldn't have had time with the for the scorpions. You know what I mean? Like they wouldn't have come up yeah. with the scorpions, so they wouldn't have had time to do she, one dragon decimated that entire city. If she had yeah. three dragons, can you imagine, imagine that? So imagine. but but I think, you know. And if her and John used the dragon fire the way that Danny used it against King's Landing against the White Walkers when they were coming up, and just you know, it's like, oh my gosh, she it's like all of a sudden a light switch clicked on, and now Danny knows how to use the dragon to but don't the, forget to the, then the night, but the night king was on on Viserys. And oh, you I know. know, I know, I'm just but just, I mean, just the overall just sweeping and um, let's, was, talk, let's, let's talk about that. I mean, so here's Danny's, a, here, Danny's, Danny's out for blood. There was a stand a standstill for a second after the after the the bells well, well, were ringing is, and Danny was looking. And, what do you think? But what do you think she was thinking then? I mean, I, it's hard. I I think that she, maybe she thought it was too easy, that she wasn't satisfied with with um how and uh, how it took place. How it was just this easy just to take these people down. She wanted and she wanted more. She lost Jorah. She lost Masande. But it's more she than lost, that, dude. It's, it's she more lost than that. Two, well, she lost two of her, her babies. No, she lost you know? her whole family. All right, let me give it to you. This is this is, this is is how it goes. I said that she was going to go crazy. She was going to go mad. And I was right, yeah, but there's did. a reason. But there's a reason behind that. And it's because she's not right in the head to begin with. She never, never was. So what her it was family. A, it was a click. Her family. No, but it wasn't. Listen, listen to my theory or, 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 or the way I see it. I'm going to go back. Her family are incestual maniacs. They're, they're all not most right of, in the most head. Most of them. Most okay? of them. Most of them. Most. Okay, most of them. Right. But her line is, is they're, they're nuts, right? She, dude, she always, she was, what she did to King's Landing, she was, she had done the entire series. We just saw it from a different angle because Oh, she was saving slaves. She was killing bad Dothraki. She was, you know what I mean? We we saw it with rose-colored glasses because she was supposed to be the hero. But guess what? Yeah. How many times did her people have to hold her back from doing these things and doing things similar to that? Dude, she's always been out for blood. She's always so this so her her going mad is mm. not a factor of her snapping. There was no snapping involved. Uh, she, I disagree. No, she. this was always a part of her, bro. And she saw what was happening, and she decided, no, I'm going to rule. I said this is fear. This is what's going to happen now. Okay? Nobody, like you said, every one of her, every one of the people that, that kept her at bay, gone. Nobody to keep her at bay anymore. And she realized that, and she said to herself, holy shit, I can do whatever I want. Nobody's going to stop me. This is what I've always wanted to do. This is what I said I was going to do the minute I found out. You understand, dude, it has nothing to do about those people. The throne, she has grown up being told, Viserys told her, her parents, her brothers, her, everyone, the people around her said, that's your throne, that's your throne, the people are going to love you, that's your throne. She doesn't give a shit about the people. All she cares about is avenging the throne and taking it. So none of that mattered. Her whole intention was always to burn that city. So no, she didn't snap. It was part of her plan all along. You know? I mean, I I, I can see what I listen, some points I can see are very valid for me. I don't think it's that cut and dry. Uh, it, it, you know, if, if 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 circumstances went a little bit differently, if John was was um uh, if her and John's relationship was a little bit different um, before the, their last encounter, where she says, "I guess I have to rule with fear," 
Um, I think if uh, the circumstances with the, uh, the close people dying in her, in, you know, uh, close to her dying recently, I think that all because she was battling in a second. She was it looked like she was thinking about what should I do. Uh, and then yeah, she realized she just saw that was red. realization, dude. That was a realization that I nobody mean, holds, is holding her back anymore. The things that the, how you said we saw things in, with, through rose colored glasses, I kind of agree with that because it's almost like when you would think about like The Walking Dead. If we were following Negan from the beginning, we would think that Rick's people were the bad people, but right, right. it's the same kind of thing that way. But I don't. I don't know. I was the one that kind of disagreed with you and you thought that she was going to be out for blood and all this kind of stuff. I actually thought that she would be she loved John enough and John loved her enough that they can kind of coexist nah. and they can rule together. Nah. Obviously, obviously I'm wrong, but there was a cool line that was in the beginning of the episode. It said something like Targaryens. It's like the flip of a coin of which kind of Targaryen you get. Yeah. Rhaegar, Rhaegar was John's father. Was there was never a bad story about him, except for the Robert Rebellion thing, and obviously that turned out to be false. But that was, was all false, right? So yeah. everyone. So that he was, a, was great. He would sing to people. They said he would give money to the poor, all those kind of things. So it's funny. It's like her brother and and, and um, um, Viserys was a maniac. Viserys was a whack job. He was going to sell. You know, he sold his sister off and all this kind of stuff. So yeah, it was cool. They said it was like a flip of a coin thing. So obviously, um, if it was inside of her the whole time or not. Um, I'm, I don't know. It's it's hard to say. I might have to watch it again to really look and see. But I for a second there, it kind of, um, to me, it kind of clicked. Like it was her battling whatever demons were inside her. Um, and I just think it was more of, wow, this was way too easy. Um, and something just snapped. Like she felt the people deserved more and yeah. she roasted the shit out of all these people yeah. those were the scenes let me let's get into like how um well let's go to the armies okay let's go let's go so so again now you have gray gray worm just yeah. as angry as her you know yeah. they take that collar and he throws it into the fire meaning like that that was nothing that that was not her this was yeah. her only possession but this wasn't her mm -hmm. he gets rid of that he decides you know what i'm gonna i'm i'm you know that to me was a snap that was a that was a. I can't take this I anymore. Thought, yeah, I thought him and John were actually going to go out for. Oh, a me second, too. Right? Absolutely. Who would win? I think John has to win. John has to win. Um, I mean, who knows? We didn't see it. But I know. I, but you know, you know so so, and then and then you have the north. Then you have the men of the north. There you go, men of the north. You're showing your true colors, you bastards. You're bloodthirsty pieces of shit. There you go. Why and are you little killing? Horny fucking, you know, horny goats and. So so again, tries so, rape with that one woman, and John has to stop stop listen, him. And I have a lot of this. This this episode was disappointing for me because of because of these things. One, mm. having these people do that, like it's just it it doesn't make any sense. Two, you didn't need thirty shots of people being burned alive. We could have done fine with five. You know what I'm saying? Like you spent, a, and this is what I was saying in the previous episode, Mikey. Is that this is why I think. This this episode looked beautiful. It was amazing. The CGI, the the flames, the everything. Just was, the way the flames cut through the building. Was it was amazing. like a knife. It but was like a knife. But that's my point. Butter. Right. You know, but that's my point, though. Yeah. Is that that's where that budget. That's why there's only six episodes because they put all that towards there. But yeah. so again, the parts that mm. was cool, but it was too much of one thing for me. Too much, you know. Well, I mean, the scene, the, listen, obviously she was decimating the whole, you know, the, all of King's Landing and, and, and the buildings and the How rocks. How many times did you see people, people closing windows, crushed. bro? Like, shit. Like, well, in the like beginning, when they, so when they first many. arrived, you saw people closing the windows when they were telling everybody to go inside there here. They were fine. But I mean, the, the scene, the, the views that you saw from Cersei's balcony and you see the dragon yeah. taking people out, that was kind of, yeah, it was amazing. that was kind of, um, uh, Crazy, um, but so anyway, Danny Danny snaps, fucks it all up. It could have been over. There could have been. Uh, she's destroying. She's destroying a place that she wants to rule. How much of it's going to be left after the fact? Oh, the um, bells. We forgot to mention they rang the bells, and then and then she decides, yeah. And she goes, she goes, she goes nutty. I mean, we saw quickly. We saw you're on a Jamie fight. Jamie gets two a knife dug in both sides, both lungs on each one, and he obviously is able to. To get away, the the uh, the Clegane Bowl, the one thing that everybody and this was one of my favorite scenes in the whole. Uh, I think that fight was awesome. Yeah, it was uh, great to see the Hound um, approach him and to see Kyburn remember walk in when the and 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 the He's like you listen to him. your queen. <laughs> Just tosses. This but guy's dude, why did but why did Sandor let her walk by? 
because he had other business to worry about. Like, I think well, that he knew just, she was going to die. You could have just taken die. her out real quick. You were about to fight I anyway. Know, I know. I know. I know. And Listen, let me we'll, before we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Uh, so yeah, certainty. the fight was. Here's my issue with the fight. Yeah. He looked like a big baby. They took his helmet off. He looked like a big dead baby. Why look like a big dead baby, Mike? I didn't see the big dead. He looked like a big dead baby. Yeah, big dead baby. He had a big, ba I, he had a big dead baby head. What did you? Why yeah. you couldn't? You really couldn't do better. Arya looked better with her blood and smoke and soot on her face than that big dead baby uh, head. That was the most. That was my, the most nail biting, um, uh, nervous part but of the episode. It was great though. He says to him. He says to the mountain. He goes, "Yep." Mm hmm. That's what you've always looked like. That's what you've always yeah. been. Yep. Absolutely. That's you. And then yeah, he's like, you. why won't you fucking die? You know, like I it know. was, it was really cool. And then they it both was, died by fire. Cool. Pretty crazy. It was cool. Yeah. It was interesting. Like it. That was a good episode. How that was a they good, were uh, shooting, fight. how Aria was escaping. She was trying to save that mother and her daughter and stuff like that. Okay. So okay. 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 Stop. 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 No, no. Bring it back. Stay there. Stay there. Yes. Aria. Yes. I got to kill the queen. I got to kill the queen. I got to kill the queen. Nah, you should probably just go. And she's like, okay. Well, she listens at least. No, but it's like, oh my God. Again, you're underutilizing. This is what bothers me. This is what I'm saying, Yeah, but did man. you want her to also kill Cersei too? Uh, oh, God. It's so I don't know. Annoying. I don't know. I, Mikey, well, but, well, why, but why were there like, why was it 30 minutes of her wandering? Dude, I. I like that. Oh, my God. I hate. Me, I the hate. way they shot. No, it was dude. And, it was shot beautifully. That's my point. It, well, because the, they went back and forth. It went the back shots, to the hound it was shot and mountain fighting. I'm not and denying that. And then it goes that. to her escaping. It's but and it's the so overall. Many moments. But the story. It's that. It's the elements that got you there that are like, why are you doing it this way? It's so I don't stupid. Know, I don't know. To me, a million times, I thought Arya was gonna bite it. Yeah, and but again, that, and that, again, that, and, and how many nuts. fucking how many false starts are you gonna give us? How many false things are you? Uh, you need to do seven of them. And dude, I'm so tired of people showing me two characters in the beginning of an episode, and then again in the middle, and then again at the end, and then they die. Who? You wasted so much fucking screen time on that on those stupid people, just to have Arya be like. I'll help you, and then they. It's everything was. It was fruit. It was fruitless, dude. Uh, I, I it was like, fruitless. I like it was so. It was so. I care about her stupid. as a character, and I, and I was worried there was, was some moments it there was where I thought maybe she, her legs were crushed or something when she opens her eyes. And then, and they, but then, but again, and, Mike, what was the show? What was this show built on? The the show was built on shock. The show was built on awe. The show was built on taking those left turns that you didn't see coming. Yeah. You should have crippled her. You should have killed no, her. Well, you didn't. You didn't get it. I know. I do. I understand. But that's in, my, in the battle of Winterfell. It's you so didn't see every little die. piece is I let down. You're like, I, I know. Dude, they bring know. you up, and you're like, oh, this is gonna be dope. And then it's like, nope. Oh, I know. nope. So, I know. Jamie, and, I know. and then look, Jamie finds his sister. I think I'm okay with how she died. Oh, see, now this—that's when I totally disagree. But I think I would have loved to see the. You know. They made you sympathize with the character. Yeah. They made you almost sympathize with her when she was still in the tower and she was crying when she realized that King's Landing was. I didn't done. sympathize with and, her then. I was like, "Good for you, bitch." Well, I mean, they're they're, ma they're making you. Um, she a, can't believe like, it. Care about her or something. Yeah. But anyway, Jamie gets to her. It's an emotional thing. And Jamie's a character that we've grown to love over these I last like Jamie. Yeah, eight I like seasons. Come, since yeah. He was a total cocksucker um, since his redemption arc, kind of a thing. Um, and, and you see him, uh, you know, embracing her and, and her like crying when she's saying you're, you're hurt, you're bleeding and all this kind of, you know, so they, they made you care about a character or they tried to, at least they I try, just yeah. felt this way about Cersei and they gave her a, a sympathetic death. They gave her a death that she wouldn't mind to have, that she dies in the arms of her brother, the guy that she loves, um, and, and, you know, and and not killed by Arya or something. I was talking. I was talking about this situation. This is what a lot of people that I've spoken with, friends, coworkers, whatever, that they were so so dis, uh, that they were most disappointed about, and that's Cersei's death. I had some people say, um, you know, Tyrion leaves the boat. Jamie goes to see the boat, and he's supposed to leave with her, and they're supposed to go travel to Essos or whatever. I would have liked to have maybe they both go out there. Maybe Euron's there. Jamie kills him. They're about to leave, but then Arya arrives or something, or someone else arrives. Or I would have liked know, that. I would have yeah. liked to have seen Cersei go out um, brutally. Um, yeah. You know, like some kind of some kind of you know 
skull. I want it, dude. Why, why, thing. why couldn't she face off? Why couldn't she dr fly Drogon right up there? She gets down. Yeah, that's that's the Drogon. Next. Listen, Drogon. Drogon. You that. Drogon grabs the mountain, tosses him out the window, eats mm -hmm. Kyburn, and then she gets down, and they have a face off, and then she well, gets bled, and she says Jakaris and blows out the whole back of the yeah. building with the girl. I, I think they needed to have Clegane Ball. Now that I think might be a fan service thing because they've been talking about that uh, since like, and that's fine, and that was cool. Uh, it was. Cool. I liked it too. That was one of my favorite things. But yeah, I, w I, w I was saying the same thing because for a moment there, you thought that she was gonna fly right up to the tower and burn them alive. So yeah, I mean, I was underwhelmed about the the Cersei death. Dude, John um, stood there stunned the entire episode, just like, what is going on? You know, it's yeah, like Yeah, I because you know what? I, and after this episode after this episode was was finished, it's every single character besides um Grey Worm is is against uh Danny now. It's like you saw and I think that was what they had to portray. They had to show that John is just so like dis like um surprised by it mm -hmm. um what what she did and, and Tyrion obviously realizes that Viserys was right uh that uh, Varys was he right knew, he sorry. knew she was gonna be right um yeah, so it's yeah right. it's all against one now and that's how Danny felt even in the previous episode a after the war and and seeing how much everybody loved John and and Tormund is sitting there oh this fucker jumped on a dragon and kill you know this guy's a king and all so remember he's like who who does that who gets on a dragon meanwhile yeah. he got on the dragon and, she, and she's <laughs> listening yeah and Danny's listening and so she sees how much John is loved she tells that to him and it's one of those things where um episode six the final episode of the of the series um it better come correct because honestly they didn't show us much in that little preview it just kind of shows you see both um you see king's landing smoking still and you see the whatever dothraki's left whatever unsullied is left and you see danny kind of walking to say some kind of maybe like their victory speech or something mm -hmm. so i'm kind of interested to see how this is going to go um, maybe we'll do something fun, a video prediction. Will uh, Danny gets killed by who? Or does she not? Does she not even? Does she do the killing? What kinda, do you think? I kind of, I, I honestly, I haven't thought about what I wanted. I, 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 I kind of, I, I wanted the Night King to be involved. I wanted all that to happen. That didn't happen. I'm at the point where I just don't care, and I'm really upset that I have to say that. Well, what would make you? What would? What would? maybe uh, you know make you a little bit more satisfied in how the sh series would end what do you want to happen there's got to be something it's not i i honestly mikey I'm, t I'm being honest with you bro i don't i kind of don't give a shit i don't care do whatever the it's like do whatever a meteor you want, from outer space comes nah man it just i don't give a shit i want transformers to show up I want fucking Transformers to show up. Yeah, what do you want to say? What do you want me to say, man? I, want, I, I don't know. I want that Transformers to show up, and I want them to wipe out everybody. What do you think, man? I don't know. Um, I, I'm thinking that it's like I said. I think that there's. And what do you be want to happen? Not what you. Th I, what do you? What do you well, want after, to happen? I mean, before this episode, I wanted Danny and John to coexist and right. rule together, and obviously that's not happening. So I'd like to see. Um, you know, would I like to see Arya kill her or Sansa coming down from the north and killing Danny or something like that? I think Danny definitely needs to be killed. Uh, she showed that. How are you going to rule somebody? How are you going to rule a place that you just destroyed, number one? Um, you know, it would totally be ruled by fear. And, and I don't see how anything like that can be. I mean, there always has to be a little bit of, of fear involved when you're ruling um uh, anything or just in charge of anything there has to be not necessarily fear but there has to be some kind of um uh what's the word just in, just in case you do something wrong there has to be some kind mm -hmm. of um repercussions yeah. re repercussions exactly so <laughs> you know here's I my prediction you ready i think it's gonna be john john and danny john. are gonna die sansa takes the throne and Arya is her is it becomes her hand basically like her protector there's you go there, there's your theory there, there, there's Whoa. there you okay. go all right. They both die. John has to kill her. Okay. Right. John kills her. Well, John kills her and Drogon roasts him. Some shit like that. It doesn't matter, dude. It, whatever. They're both <laughs> gonna die. They're both gonna die. Sansa takes the throne. Sansa it's for the like, win. It's like I don't want to end the episode because I don't want. I want to try to find anything positive to take out of this. No, listen. I listen. Again, it was the, for what they did was done really well. I'm just not 
satisfied well, or happy with what happened. Yeah, I don't know. I, mean, I and and a little more than just being a fan. Like I just don't. The story elements just seem not to fit in place. It just seems like there's no. You wasted so much screen time on burning people in Aria. You know, with smoke inhalation. You spent so much time on those. When meanwhile we could have seen other things. We could have. I don't know, man. It just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. It was. You're, a, not, you're not the only one. You're not the only one. It was dope. It was look, for what for what it's worth. It was. It yeah. was really dope to watch her go ape shit on that place. Okay. You know, and again, done very well, acted very well. You know, um, I mean, those are, we those got the game ball, that, man. What yeah, do you those want, are two dude? things that they never, they never, uh, they never disappoint with with this show. Obviously, is the acting. It's phenomenal. So yeah. uh, that's one thing. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's about it. I mean, one quick little thing, Ghost, man. I mean, I know this was in the previous episode, but it kind of upset me. I forgot to say this, so I'm going to say it now. Um, dude, just let him go. Just let him go with, with Tormund up to the north. He deserves John, it. John, ghosted like, Ghost, man. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like how the stuff's well, kind of All right, so they like, said, so they, in an interview, they said that it was just cheaper to have, like, yeah, story story plot line aside, it was cheaper yeah. for them to just have the dog sitting there and John to look at him. Like, they didn't... You know what I'm saying? And if you that, can have hugged him, pet him, or something. No, anyway, that, that's, that's, that's my the point. Dog, that's the dog lover in me. Yeah. I know that they say that they're like super expensive to do CGI and stuff with them, but you know what? Um, but that's my point. They put it all yeah. on the dragon, bro. So anyway, I love, I love, uh, I love Ghost, and I would get a white husky just to name him Ghost if I if I could. Oh, um, so anyway, let us know what you guys thought. Episode five: The Bells When the Bell Tolls. Um, I mean, what are your what are your thoughts after watching the episode? Let us Mike's know. Mike's so dejected now. <laughs> he just doesn't know where to go from here, man. Third, thirdpersonpod.com <laughs> and all the social medias. Third person. Uh, 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 Mike, it's gonna be Facebook, all right, man. It's Twitter. gonna be all right, dude. Yeah, dude. I'm hoping for. So I'm hoping for. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not. I mean, so... it doesn't matter anymore, but it'll be fine. Well, you know what it is. It's like, especially now too, with the other prequels coming next year. I'm gonna. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna live up to. I don't know. I don't know if I'm into those, man. Unless they're supernatural, I just I can't deal with another ten years. Well, of- you know what it is. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more name known actors, and I don't like that. I like that's a big yeah, reason. Why I like the show man. is because. Listen, we let's talk about that on the next episode. Yeah, so that's another thing. Yeah, third person on all the social medias: Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Check us out: thirdpersonpod.com. Yeah, we're we're there. So let us know what you guys all thought. We love seeing the comments from you guys, and I know we're both very dejected about this. Like yeah, this. whatever, man. It is what it is. Listen, thank you for watching. Go check out our Badlands stuff. Badlands is better than Game of Thrones anyway. So just oh. uh, why don't you go and check out our videos on those things? And uh, yeah, we uh, thanks for watching. One more episode to go for the finale of the series. That's it. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks everyone. Bye. Nice.